Darcy and Young have struggled shooting today. Oh, John Quell Jones, an emphatic rejection. John Quell Jones there with the help. She could have just tapped it and tried to corral it, but she wanted to make a statement here. John Quell Jones led four players in double figures, scoring 18 of her 27 points in the first half as the New York Liberty staved off elimination with an 87-73 win over the cold shooting. Mistake-prone Las Vegas Aces in Game 3 of the WNBA Finals before a raucous, sellout crowd at Barclays Center. The Aces were looking to become the first repeat WNBA champion since the 2001-2002 Los Angeles Sparks, but that will have to wait another day. Game 4 is Wednesday night in Brooklyn. No team in WNBA history has come back from a 2-0 final series deficit. The lane is clear as she's able to operate in it. Ionescu draws two. Stewart, extra feed. John Quell Jones knocks down the triple. Well, and John Quell Jones, one of the separators for her when she is shooting well from the perimeter. Young entered this game 13 of 20 on contested shots in these finals. Jones, after the collision, cans the three. Stewart went down. For Chicago, she's here along with some other members. Wow, John Quill Jones with a long two and off to a good start in game three. Here's Ionescu. Nice feed, Jones, easy lay. Becky Hammond upset with the defensive coverage there. Strong and powerful when she catches the ball in the paint. This time, miscommunication. Both defenders go with Sabrina, JJ. Ionescu off to Jones. Jones. Bodying into Wilson, fading away. Oh, baby. John Quell Jones has it all working. And Vandersloot's talked to us about that, finding the balance of distributing and shooting. And didn't feel like she had that early in the series. Great take. John Quell Jones with a beautiful pass. Wilson, meanwhile, two for 10 now for Vegas. She and Young have struggled shooting today. Oh, John Quell Jones, an emphatic rejection. John Quell Jones there with the help. She could have just tapped it and tried to corral it, but she wanted to make a statement here. Woof. Beautiful she block. Plum off to Gray. Wilson. The ball fake. The bump denied. Jones and Stewart there. Laney bounces. Jones able to collect. Duck under and lay. Largest lead of the series for New York. Stewart, great position, and lays it in on a beautiful delivery from John Quill Jones. One eye on these final three minutes and one eye on what's going on with Chelsea Gray in the locker room. Jones left it was alone. the Aces' third loss at Barclays Center this season, following a 99-61 blowout loss on August 6th and a 94-85 loss three weeks later. It was also Vegas' first loss this postseason following eight consecutive wins. Jones went 10 for 15 from the field and hit four three-pointers, while adding eight rebounds, three assists and three blocks. Brianna Stewart, the league's MVP, added 20 points and 11 rebounds. Courtney Vandersloot had 12 points, seven rebounds, and six assists and Betnija Laney pitched in 12 points, three rebounds and two assists for the Liberty, who are still looking for their first WNBA title. It was New York's first WNBA Finals win since Teresa Witherspoon heaved a half-court shot in Game 2 to beat the Houston Comets in 1999 and the first Finals game in New York since 2002. New York was swept in that series by the Sparks. New York took control in the third quarter, scoring the first eight points and using a suffocating defense to force Las Vegas into ill-advised shots as the Aces tried to bully their way to the basket to force fouls. The Aces only hit 4 of 18 shots in the quarter, and 33% for the game, including 7 for 22 from three-point range. Still, the Aces trimmed the lead down to 6 with 5.31 left after two Wilson free throws but got no closer than that. Kelsey Plum had 29 points to lead Las Vegas. Wilson, the Defensive Player of the Year, recorded 16 points and 11 rebounds, while Chelsea Gray had 11 points. Gray was injured in the fourth quarter and was seen on crutches after the game. Aces head coach Gray's Becky Hammond said she did not have an update on Gray, and her availability for Game 4 is unknown. You guys have also
also turned it up a notch defensively. Tell me what activity level your defense has had here at home. Yeah, it's a sense of pride. It's a sense of urgency. Um, it's what's been lacking in this series, and we wanted to kind of muck it up a little bit and make it aggressive and make it hard for them. The last couple of games, you've really carried your team in the first half. How do you bring that same intensity in the second? Continuing to stay aggressive, um, finding my teammates when they, when they bring the double, and like I said, just staying aggressive when they don't. Kelsey Plum has gotten off a little bit. What kind of adjustments do you want to see you make defensively? Loading up to the ball, making sure that we're, um, we're there to help our teammates. It's not just one person's, uh, uh, it's not just one person's responsibility. It's a team's the Aces a 2-0 series lead in these best of five finals. Ionescu has been quiet to begin this series. This crowd often gets her going. Stewart can't hit. Got a good look and Rainey tips it in. That pass, Wilson able to flag down. Asia Wilson looking for some space, somehow able to navigate to the cup. And great spacing by her teammates on the opposite side of the floor, so help couldn't come. What a look. Yonescu to Stewart getting free in transition. That was a real point of emphasis for Benajia Laney speaking with you yesterday, as well as Sandy Brondello to us today, as Wilson able to nuzzle it in. The lane is clear as she's able to operate in it. Ionescu draws two, Stewart extra feed, John Quill Jones knocks down the triple. After Stewart had missed a couple from deep, Young floats it up and in over Jones. What a finals Jackie Young has had. Here is Vandersloot. Ionescu gets some space and hits the three. She needs it, this crowd needs it. And Vandersloot the rebound and push. Here's Ionescu, thought about the three, shovels to Jones, beautiful possession for New York, timeout Vegas. Young entered this game 13 of 20 on contested shots in these finals. Jones after the collision, cans the three. Here's Plum into the paint, just had it smeared by Vandersloot, a four on two developing. Vandersloot left alone, connects on a three. Maybe a little contact. Felt like it. Ionescu, you bet. <laughs> New York with seven first half threes. Plum, the ball fake, the dance, the kick. Clark, open, knocks it down from three. How good has Kelsey Plum been in this first half? Shooting 53% from the floor as a whole. And holding Vegas to 37% shooting as Gray finally gets one to drop. Her first field goal of the afternoon. Inbounds play. Those are the details. She keeps exhorting her team. Lock in on the details was the message. Well, Gray buries a deep three. Chelsea Gray plays at a different level, especially in the finals. And there, Sabrina's reached. Or... Young working Thornton. Plum, nice cut, lays it in. I don't know how much longer Sandy Brondello can go with Brianna Stewart on the bench. Moves and she cuts here. She sees that Jackie Young's on the post, dives to the basket. Came into this game sizzling in this series. Plum forces up a three and hits. Kelsey Plum. Sandy Brondello empties her bench. A much different fight as Plum hits yet another three. She has 26. Thanks for putting Ionescu on the big player, putting Brianna Stewart on Chelsea Gray. How do you feel now that you're going to game four? Great. I feel great. You know, we're at home. We have the energy from our amazing crowd. You know, we know what we have to do. I feel great.